hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of c if we have c plus 3 whole square is equals to 4 and we solve this problem for all the values of c and at the last we will check that uh, which uh, values of c are solution of this equation and which of these are uh, extraneous root of this equation so now we solve this problem for two methods and i hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and now we move forward towards the first method uh, and uh, in first method uh, we just use here uh, the nice uh, technique or nice algebraic formula you know about that if we have a square minus b square is equals to a minus b times of a plus b according to this uh, algebraic formula we first write our above given equation into this formula form for this we move this 4 to the right hand to the left hand side and it will be written as c plus 3 whole square this is positive term when we move in the left hand side it will becomes negative and this whole equation is equals to 0 and here again we rewrite this equation as c plus 3 whole square minus we write this 4 as 2 square and this whole equation is equals to 0 and here we are ready to apply this nice formula you see here the base of this term is our a and the base of this term is our b so here we put these two values of a and b into the right hand side of the above formula so uh, according to the above formula these will be written as uh, here first factor is a minus b here our a is c plus 3 minus b is 2 into the second factor is a plus b so again our a is c plus 3 and plus b is 2 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and further here we need more simplifications and it will be written as in this form uh, here we get this is c and 3 minus 2 becomes 1 into from here we get c plus this is 3 plus 2 becomes 5 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write c plus 1 is equals to 0 and the second case is we write c plus 5 is equals to 0 so here from first case we easily get the value of c is equals to minus 1 and from second case we easily get the value of c is equals to minus 5 so here we get the uh, we get these two roots of the given equation uh, and uh, now here we first again solve this problem for second method and at the last we will check that uh, which of these two roots are a solution and which roots are extraneous root and also at the end i can just explain the term extraneous root so uh, here uh, in second method uh, we just uh, uh, first copy down given question statement here it is c plus 3 whole square equals to 4 and in second method um, we just use here uh, the square root technique and, and here we just apply the square root sign on both of the sides and it will be written as c plus 3 whole square and its whole square root is equals to square root of 4 and now you see here this 2 and this square root are gone and we will get here c plus 3 is equals to also you know about that when we apply the square root on both of the sides we will write here plus minus sign any one of the sides so we write this sign into the right hand side also you see here uh, the square root of 4 is equals to 2 and now we uh, break uh, this uh, equation into the two cases the first case is we write c plus 3 is equals to minus 2 and the second case is we write c plus 3 is equals to plus 2 so from first case we easily get the value of c is equals to minus 2 and we move this 3 to the right hand side it will also becomes minus 3 
and we get here c is equals to minus 5 and from here we get this plus 3 to the right hand side and it will become c is equals to 2 minus 3 and we get here c is equals to minus 1. So from both of these cases you see here we will get uh, the same values of c and now we check uh, we, uh, each of these values are solution or not. Uh, so that for verification of the roots we need to copy down given question statement here it is c plus 3 whole square equals to 4 and now first we will verify c is equals to minus 5. So uh, for verifications of uh, this root uh, we put these values into the left hand side and it will be written as minus 5 plus 3 whole square is equals to 4 and now you see here minus 5 plus 3 is equals to minus 2 whole square is equals to 4 and minus 2 square becomes 4 is equals to 4. So you see here both of the sides are equal this means that the value of c is equals to minus 5 is satisfied over this given question statement. And now here we move towards the second uh, uh, value of c and the second value of c is equals to minus 1. Uh, so uh, now here we will just put uh, c is equals to minus 1 into the left hand side of this question statement so it will be written as minus 1 plus 3 whole square is equals to 4. So here uh, uh, in order to verification of this value we get minus 1 plus 3 becomes 2 square is equals to 4 and we easily get 4 is equals to 4. So this means that the second value of c is also satisfied our given question statement. So finally we have c is equals to minus 1 and minus 5 be the two solutions of the given equation. This is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.